Okay, this is a 100% loot and camera walkthrough for the bridge. Uh, I am unaware of any audio files on the bridge, so I don't know about that. Uh, but we'll be getting the mod kit and the cameras and Scully and the puzzles, I guess. But uh, the link in the description to the playlist for all my puzzles, because you'll probably get different puzzles than I, I get, because they're random. But that's okay. First time I saw this, I thought the game like crashed before I realized like the top separated. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? mutant over there now I have not found a recycler on this level so I don't think there is one here's camera one and our power first power charger energy recharger okay we're gonna do this room last because there's a lever in there that has to do with the final fight room and I want to combine it together Now, the cyborg mutant is here, and then there's two warriors down there as well that can or cannot sort of get involved. So I would prefer to pull this guy sort of down this hall so that I only have to sort of fight one at a time. If we can get him to come down here. See, there's, there's one of the warriors right there. Unless you can get him as a twofer. Ah. <gasps> Come here. Probably not the smartest, but I was trying to save some ammunition. That's okay. I am stocked for this level, so it's fine. Camera. There he is over there. All right, we'll get him later. Okay, now this is the only mod kit upgrade that I have found on this level. It is for the plasma core. And I don't have the plasma core, so I won't be buying it, but it's an energy efficiency mod kit for 25 credits. And definitely loot every single one of these boxes. Because there is a ton of good stuff in here. Tons of good stuff. And then Scully is right here. He's pretty easy this, this chapter. And then get a couple of rail guns. If you're using if you're using the railgun weapon. Let me think. I'll go with 
with Frag. There's going to be two security bot twos here. One is sort of safely behind the barrier and can't do anything to you, so you can sort of hang out here. Um, the one other one is on the ground, on the floor. And the first computer that we need to hack sort of is in here. We'll do the second one up there with an EMP, but I want to get the first one with the frag. There he is. Won't kill him completely, but it'll do a lot of damage. Alright. Now let's prepare for this guy. Change this to EMP. Oh wait. Let's sneak over. Pull that lever. Oh, I do this every time. Be sure you have your boots on, because the EMP gets rid of the bridge. I do it. Every so silly. I always forget. Hitting him with an EMP will get rid of the bridge, so make sure you have uh, your boots on if you want to be able to make it. Okay, <clears throat> so now the first force computer that we need to do is in there, but we need to get to it. So this one opens this one. This one opens this one. And this one. Again, if you go for EMP, it's going to shut the bridge down, so just keep that in mind. Just be sure to use your boots. So this isn't going to be the one that you see, most likely. You'll most likely have a, a different puzzle. Okay, now I'm going to turn that just so that it doesn't. Uh, check the description for timestamps for the one that should work for you. I have a lot of... I've completed a lot of puzzles, so hopefully the one that you see will be in the playlist somewhere if you need help with that. Definitely take that. Take that. I gotta take these boots off. Okay, so this... Let me go kill this guy first. Okay, well, we'll kill that guy first. So there's nothing in here except for radiation and then some mag pulse rifle. So your choice whether to go in there or not, there's a mag pulse weapon along with storage box filled with some ammunition for the mag pulse. So that's what the two white dots are you see on the minimap. So it's your choice if you want to go in there, but... I don't use the mag pulse, and it's radiated and stuff, so. They're, but they're in there. Okay, he's down far enough. 
All right, now where is that camera that just beeped at me? These cameras just blend. Oh, there you are right ahead of me. There we go. Make sure this is loaded. We want the EMP anyway. Okay, this is what the... Okay, this is what the force computers are unlocking. There's like three barriers back there. And there's three computers that we're going to. Already got him, right? Okay. Okay. Now, there's a Cortex Reaver in here that we need to kill. Make sure we're going to get it with the EMP, and then we're going to get it with the rapier, but we need to get Berserker first, just to make sure. Now, it has an isolinear chip that is required, so this is a required kill. Isolinear chipset. This is what we need to insert into the barrier locked room that we're unlocking so that we can get into the central tower. So you need to grab that. And then there's mag pulse if you use that weapon, and plasma core if you use that weapon, and then some health stuff. Why is it acting like there's. Oh, there's a dead body under there. I let me open the rest of the room. I don't think there's anything else here, but... Okay. Oh, turn radiation. That radiation suit's been on since, like, the previous level. Drop. Use. Use. Oh, I didn't need a health kit. I'm so used to using them, though. Okay. Make sure this is loaded. Here's the next cyborg mutant. Oh no, so that's elite. That's an elite guard. Camera. Ammunition that he dropped. Okay, now we're going south. We're heading down here. Now this part there's two ways to do this part. You see the barriers right there? There's a cyborg mutant that gets rid of the barriers when he walks through them. If you kill him when he's in that opening so the barriers are down, then you can go that way. But if you kill him when the barriers are up, you have to go through a lower level that's radiated and around. So see how the barriers just disappeared? So if I can kill him when these barriers are down, now I can get across that way. But if I killed him when the barriers were up, then you'd have to go through there, which is just a couple of rooms. And then I think there's another cyborg mutant thing in there. There's another heavy and power recharge, energy recharge station. And then these bridges pop up the minute you enter, like, the space. 
I didn't, I, you don't have to pull a lever or anything like that. And then we can get the goodies that are behind there. It's Magpulse Rifle, and it's available in that room where we're going. There's a rail gun. So if you do the lower level, you'll come out here. And I think there's a little bit of loot down there. Yeah, it's an elite guard, and there's actually nothing down there. Okay, never mind. There's nothing down there, just the guard. Okay, so here's the mag pulse rifle that's behind that door. We just came around and just stuck to the left side. But I don't use the mag pulse. I don't have it with me, so. All right, now I'm going to, like, run around real quick and just open this map up. Just make it easier. Sort of see some stuff. But the second forest computer is back here. It is all the way on the north side. Let me open some of this up. Computer. Now save. You can even save like before then, but I highly, highly recommend saving here. There is no restoration bed on this level. And if one of these eight-ish cars gets you, you are going to not be a happy camper. <clears throat> Heal up after that. Actually. Camera. Okay, we're in the east side. It's technically says central, but... <clears throat> got mutant, cyborg mutant. Okay, <clears throat> now, once we get close enough, we're going to get shot at by cameras that come out here. And then there's a second one down there. Here it comes. Right there. Now we're gonna get this camera and this camera. 
<clears throat> which due to its angle, you can see from the lower level or really this cell bridge. Security is now at 12. Okay, I think this is a coin, but there's nothing really to buy here. The central cell is the one that has the goodies on that. Left and right don't really have much. And there's shotgun. Railgun, and then this gun should have one in it. So I am gonna save again. And then drop a weapon, not rotate. Pick that up, empty it out. And drop, make sure you drop and do all that to the one that's not upgraded if you're carrying one. And pick my scorpion back up. I think that's all that's here. Just the gun and the hat and stuff. <clears throat> Find the ladder. And then there's ammunition at the end of the other hall. Or the able to walk away. Yeah, Fletch at rounds. Go refill again. Oh, I'm out already. Oh, my shield's on. That's probably taking a lot. East corner. We're gonna press this button and I'll clear like two or three of these little barrier things. We should be able to kill about three of the security bots down there before we have to commit to going down there. But put your boots on. It's always good to have boots on here. Okay, gotta hit a little more than that. Maybe I'll put the shield back on. No harm, and I've got the batteries. So we should be able to clear three of them. Okay, that's all I've ever been able to get from that angle. <clears throat> and there are a lot down here. And we do not have to kill all of them. Luckily, because there's actually quite a few. There's like 12 or something, all told. Awful lot. Just need to clear enough to get to this computer right here. I have my shield. And it sounds like they're everywhere because they are. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I've never had them come at me while I was on the puzzle itself, but you never know. So be careful. Maybe run a save. Force door two to computer room. Open. All 
Alright, now this lift will be here, but if you're wearing the boots, then you don't need it. And it you'll note that it switches for, like, no reason. Like, it just does its own little thing. But I don't have the boots on, so we'll use that. Okay. So now, all three computers are on. this off for a minute. We only we should only run into one of those like minion cyborg guys. It should be okay. We have a camera in here. Security is now zero, so that's all the cameras. And then we're gonna enter the isolinear chipset that we got from beating the Reaver on in the south room here. Program security breaker installed. Okay, so security is zero. Now we're ready to enter the central room, but we're gonna do something first. If you go in there right now, it'll be filled with radiation and you will have to wear your suit along with constantly worrying about refilling it. So instead, we're gonna go up to the north Here's a reflex reaction aid if you actually want it earlier. Put your boots on. I don't know how anybody normally wanders around this bridge. You think part of the standard dress code would be these boots? <laughs> you can't get anywhere without them. Now pull this lever. This lever is going to get rid of central chamber radiation has been purged. So that's what that lever does. So if you want to know what that lever does, it gets rid of the radiation in the east room. And shit. Of course, there's no cover. So before I was so rudely interrupted. Now we can go in here and there won't be any radiation. You just have to worry about the three waves of enemies that we're going to be fighting. But I would make a save here just in case there's anything you wanted to reset or do anything with. <clears throat> also because there's no restoration bay. All right, so we have an elite guard up there and then we're gonna have a cyborg mutant right here. Okay, so it starts with just the two of them. 
So the whole goal of this room is to get this lift activated right here. In order to do that, you have to pull three levers. The first one is here. And after you pull that, you're going to get... What do I have? Two mantis and two assassins. And then after you kill them, this lever will become available. This is a kill all situation. You have to kill them all or the next lever won't be available. And then the third level is down there. Lever, sorry, is down there. And after you pull, I suggest saving after each lever or right before pulling the next lever, which is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> Just because the first couple waves aren't bad, but the last wave is okay if you sort of like know where things are coming from. But it might be a little more... And given that I'm on PlayStation and that you're probably on PlayStation and the fact that we don't have hotkeys for health bars and stuff, you might do the save. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. And now we can pull this. So I'm going to save. Oh, I just overrode the outside save. That's right. There he is. Okay, that lever is now available. So now what I'm going to do is in the past, I have had two of them spawn down here, like their cages, you know, come up. I don't, I don't even know. There's nobody even in the room. I don't, I don't get these proximity mines sometimes, I swear. All right, we're going to switch this to frag. Make sure this is loaded. This is reloaded. Oh, good, I'm almost out. All right, uh, let's do the battery. Make sure the shield is on. Okay, we're going to try something a little different for this last wave. So we can't get in here yet because this is what 
killing these guys does. But we're not finished yet. But I'm wondering. This might be a nice little spot. See, here come three more. So if you're having trouble clearing the third wave, Nice. <laughs> All right. So this is definitely doable. But if you come up here for the, that third wave, there's six of them and they're like all together unless you can. And if you're on PlayStation, there's no hotkeys for batteries or healing or anything like that. So it's really hard to find cover that's safe for that wave. So this is definitely a choice. Okay, let's re-up. Now in here, we are going to have a reaver. It is the third reaver. So if you killed the first one on the flight deck, then you should get the trophy when you kill this one because then the other one on this level is required. So the flight deck is the only one that I think might. All right, so we're going to EMP it. You can also use a reflex reaction aid, which we will probably use just for the funsies because this is like the last thing. Then a berserker. So then there's nothing else. Uh, there's the final fight with Shodan. But you can't take any of your, you're not going to have any of your consumables or any of your weapons or anything like that because it takes place in cyberspace. Oh yeah, and you need to get the card off of this thing. And here's the final fight to showdown. So good luck. Have fun. 